Hey everyone, it's Jordan with the High Speed Rail Alliance. I'm here in the South Chicago neighborhood of Chicago, and behind me is the future site of the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park, which developers and state leaders, including Governor J.B. Pritzker, hope will set Illinois as a global leader in quantum computing. Now, if you go that way just a few blocks, you'll be at the 87th Street Station, part of the South Chicago branch of the Metro Electric District. I'm joined now by our executive director, Rick Harnish. Rick, can you tell us a little bit more about what's missing right now in the conversation around quantum? Governor Pritzker has talked frequently about how quantum is not just about computing, it's about collaboration. Collaboration with the University of Illinois in Champaign, University of Wisconsin in Madison, multiple universities around the region. And that means it needs to be easy to travel and trains are the answer to making that happen. And can you tell us a little bit more about what makes this particular metro line that goes through the area so unique? So this is a Metro South Chicago branch, which stops within walking distance of the quantum campus. It's unique because it was built as an electrified transit line in the 20s through a very dense neighborhood, very much like the Brown Line. It's got level boarding, so it's easy to get on and off, and it's right in the middle of the neighborhood. The challenge is that the train only runs once an hour. It should run once every 10 minutes, and the brown line is every 10 minutes, and you need to be able to easily transfer between a bus and the train, which is not possible yet, but should be. And it needs to be just a smidge faster on the section south of Hyde Park, but it's very fast north of Hyde Park to downtown, so it's a great link between this neighborhood and the rest of the city. We've advocated for over 10 years to make this a truly effective rapid transit line in order to support this community and help have the people who live here uh, choose to stay here and gain more investment so that it can become a much stronger, healthier, more attractive neighborhood. Thank you, Rick. Is there anything else you'd like to tell everyone? Well, what's really exciting about this is that 57th Street would be the place that you would change trains to Champaign and to Lafayette, two of the universities mentioned in the Quantum Campus, if Metro were extended to Champaign and if the South Shore were extended to Lafayette. We're very excited that Representative Cam Buckner put in the transit bill that just passed a study to extend Metro to Kankakee, and it's just another hop, skip, and jump to Champaign. So this could be the link between the University of Illinois and the Quantum Campus. Right on. Thank you, Rick. If you'd like to learn more about how you can get better train service running through your community, visit our website at hsrail.org.